friends, welcome back. I'm high up a creek, the high waters are still with us, so come to work the creek high up the head mountain, which is still workable. If you remember in some of my last videos, I pulled this massive um, quartz boulder out of that hole and you can see the gravel filled up in there since I've dug it out. There's nothing in there now. Uh, it wasn't much gold in there anyway. But this side of the rocks, I never did. But the, the, the force of the water has now washed most of the gravel bar away and we're left with that shoulder along there against that bedrock bank. So that's what we're going to go for today. And uh, hopefully there's something in it. It was about a speck of bucket before, so not very much, but uh, It'll be a good test for the new sluice. <coughs> so welcome back. We're going to hit this gravel bar that I haven't done and see what's going on here. All right, pretty much on bedrock, bedrock straight away by the looks of it which might be less work for me. Let's get the pump. I think in the UK we have the speciality of working in water because we're not allowed to go near the banks and we see in America a lot digging the gravel bars in the dry land. Um, we're not really doing that over here, we're in the water most of the time because that's where the, the gold lines tend to be and uh, they look at us funny with these, these pumps we're using but nothing else is going to suck the gold off the bottom of that bedrock in the water. You know, we have our crevice pumps for the crevices, but once you shovel as much as you can, you're then resorted to the hand pump because we're not allowed any motorised dredges or anything. So the hand pump is what sucks the gold off the very bottom. So we tend to suck when we shovel until we can't shovel anymore, and then suck up until we can't suck up anymore because all the loose stuff's gone and you're left with a layer of rocks and you have to hand pick or rake the rocks out. So I sometimes use my rake, I've forgotten my rake today, so we're going to have to hand pick the rocks out. Now again I'm only, I only I say this all the time, I only have it classified to one inch and that new sluice I bought has only got um, less than half inch probably three, three eighths troughs so anything larger than three eighths just slides down the top like a ramp So I'm coming across semi-compact gravel now that I have to break up with a pick, which is what we want. It's been there a while. It's a good chance there's something there, hopefully. So I'm dragging it all off that bedrock. So we've got a couple of little pockets there. They 
a couple of little boil pockets hopefully they're quite good for me sometimes broke it all up so I'm really down to the bedrock already at the edge very shallow three inches and a lot of the time you can get the flood gold coming to the edge of the bedrock bank because there's, although gold holds a gold line there's an effect called the sweeping effect and that is the the, the, the flow in the river actually acts as a sweeping motion sideways as it goes along and the lighter gold and sometimes nuggets will get to the edge through this sweeping effect so always check along your edges as well as we're finding your gold line So you can see I've dug the gravel off that bedrock ledge there. We've got a little pocket in the back there. Hopefully that's got something in it. And then there's a crevice opening up there. And that goes right through there very deep, about five feet, four feet maybe. And it runs right across to the head of that bedrock sticking out of the water. Now last summer I dug that right out to the bedrock and chased it up to about here. And there wasn't that much gold in it but uh, I did it and so we're coming up the shallow end of that crevice now I think it's going to be shallow we will we'll find out and uh, hopefully we get something from this end better than we did down there so I think I probably have got I like a lot of flow but I've got too much here now because it's uh, coming in such a rate it's coming over the top of the sluice there so I'm gonna have to build a little dam to break the water down, funnel it through the other half of the stream to reduce this flow. Now, I don't know if you noticed, I'm using a, a microphone today because I know my audio has been bad over the hundred videos I've done so far. And now uh, I'm going to try and up my game a little bit since because I've got a few more subscribers, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, let's try and make the videos a bit better. So let me know in the comments if the the microphone's good and you can hear it better And I'll continue with it Well, I do think the microphone's a bit too much So I'll be selective when I use it. If I've got something to say I might use it But I'm not going to continue it through a whole video like this one But uh, I was testing it out today and it's, it's pretty good So I've just put a line of those quartz boulders so the main flow can go through the, the river and now the flow rate has dropped right down maybe too much need to put some gravel in it and see yeah too much we're gonna have to open that back up a bit trials and tribulations of prospecting eh? So all I gotta do is pull that stone over here and that will guide a bit more water in and we'll increase the flow in the sluice and that should do it. I'll try it now anyway. I never know what angle my uh, sluice is running at but if the gravel's dancing it's working. So Let's do the first bucket and see what happens.
have to say the inspection count mat is working. Look at that lovely little piece caught there at the edge of it. So we know there's gold in the gravel bar now. Let's get another bucket through. Still there. It's a nice uh, piece. Macro is terrible on its own. Yeah, look at that. So I've been here one hour and I'm about to put my third bucket through the sluice. And at the rate I've got, the, the, the sluice seems to just wash everything out really. But then it is all light stones, there's no black sand here, there's no magnetite, no hematite. So you get the odd bit of ironstone, odd bit of uh, lead quite a bit. And obviously the shiny, which is not staying put. So I'm going to put another whole bucket through and see how that speck of gold moves. I'm interested how far down the sluice that gets. I, don't, I bet it doesn't get past the first main riffle. But uh, hopefully there's some more of them in the next bucket. We'll find out. Look how heavy gold is. So I just did a massive mistake. Um, I tipped the end of the bucket in with a bit of water and it washed the flake out. Now, has it washed it completely out of sluice or does one of the troughs catch it? That's what we're going to find out now. So I thought I'd lost it for a second. It's there, uh, and a couple of micros. But uh, I think that was the second or third bucket. An hour's worth of work anyway, and two micro specs. And the bigger spec. So looking at my bucket now, I'm seeing a piece of ironstone and a piece of quartz. Now, because the heavy's rare in this river, that's a good sign if I'm seeing that sort of stones. So hopefully this bucket's got something to show. Now that is just rubbish. The river's dropped again and we've got no flow. So we're going to have to Oh, and in fact, it's me blocking the way, is it? Yeah, you've got to watch you don't obstruct your sluice. You shouldn't really stand in front of it or behind it. I don't like the siphon flare. I don't think it's so far. It's, yeah, still not really. It's only just clearing that. Let's increase the flow. that boulder in the middle of the flow to hopefully increase the flow on this side of the stream yeah it's a lot better So the flare drops down and I always wonder if there's a big piece of gold in that, is it just going to roll down and drop off into the stream? So initially I thought the siphon flare was a good idea. I'm not so sure now.
riffles are exchanging. So that's quite a lot of flow there, and they're only just exchanging. But that's good enough to work. four buckets out of there and there is basically nothing in the gravel but I've started to get little crevices in the rock um, start to scrape them out and that's what you get I don't know if you could see that nice pan I hope there's more of them to come sun's trying to come out so, the way I saw it was, there was gold in that crevice of below that waterfall, and there was a big channel coming right across here. There was basically not much in that channel, but it's, a, it's bedrock uh, ramp there, so it's got, it's got to be forced up to this corner. So, if I'm digging out these cracks now, I hope there's more. Still really cold in the water. So I'm concentrating on the on the cracks now. Which is where the gold is, I think. So we've got our snap-on pick and our uh, Caledonian sucker and these are the best things for getting out the gold out of the cracks. decomposing bedrock is what you're looking for and, and a lot of it is nowadays <laughs> decomposing and that gold loves to get right down in there well I find it I've got a really deep crack going on and I usually end, run out of room and I've got enough to get to the bottom let's go and check see if that crack has got some gold in Straight in the pan. I have to say, I haven't, I'm catching more small gold than I ever have before with this sluice. So it seems for years I've probably been losing the small specks from the old sluice. It's a fair play. That drop riffle is catching the tiny stuff that I've probably been throwing away for years. So it's definitely worth getting. I am impressed. It's catching the small specks which I didn't think was in here. Fair play. So it's been about four hours and uh, I've just been busy scraping all them cracks. There wasn't really any gold in the gravel. But scraping the bottom of each of those cracks was getting me little specks. And the sluice is catching smaller specks than I've ever had on this stream before. So that lot of a sluice, I knew it lost fine gold, but uh, how much lot fine gold have I lost over the years? I uh, don't want to think about it. Well, that's it. We're going to pack it up for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let's get back home and show you what I got.
I wonder what's in that heavy lump of quartz. You can see the iron content, it's really heavy. If only I had a water grinder on the river, I could smash it up with. 